Uh, thank you. Uh, we had started on to something in mathematics that is probability. And um, just a quick recap of what we had uh, looked at. Uh, those of us who were not here, we had the, a little bit moved step further as far as the probability is concerned. And um, we had the same how we can be able to calculate the, the probability. We saw uh, what an event was, okay? We saw what the meaning of an event. Uh, we saw how we can come up with a probability of a given event. Now, uh, as we continue with our probability, now probability has a lot of items that are there but we are going to zero down onto what we have to study at our level as far as senior theory is concerned. So um, when we take a look at uh, this, let me share something here. Okay. So um, this week we are continuing with the our probability. Uh, please, if you have a question, I request that you can type it in our inbox so that uh, I can work it out as soon as you bring it up. So uh, in the chats, uh, let's not greet each other. Let's send messages uh, where we are going to answer questions on our board here. Okay? Now today, uh, I want us to look at it. last time we said when we are looking at probability of an event we said okay okay we say that uh, the probability of an event okay if we have uh, a probability of an event is uh, the number of the event out of the sample the number of the sample space this is what we had uh, last uh, time Okay, so we, we last time that is what we're looking at. And we saw someone saying, want to have a recap? Okay, let me uh, possibly show you something that we, uh, we looked at last time. Eh? Uh, let's see this. Uh, I think we looked at something like this. So, uh, okay. So uh, last week we looked at uh, just probability of getting an event. How do you uh, calculate a probability? For example, if you're rolling a dice, I hope, are we all able to see the screen? Uh, are we seeing the screen, all of us? Uh, type yes if you're seeing the screen. Type yes if you're seeing the screen. All right, thank you. So uh, last time we are looking at uh, how we can get a probability of an event. And we said, we concluded and say that when you have a probability of an event, for example, um, uh, a, so for example, if you have a probability of an event E, yeah, probability of an event E, is the number of the events, number of events out of the number of the sample space. Okay. Now we say it comes that are going to come out of that given event. Like for example, if you're tossing a dice, a dice has six faces and those six faces each of them is having a number. For example, one face can have one, another one, two, on, on up to six. So when you have a given event and you want to find out the probability of that given event, it is usually the number of events. For example, if you want to say the probability of picking out a two, it will be the number of events will be two and the sample space will be the six because the six is the entire number that we do have in our probability. So that's what we looked at. We're introducing ourselves to those given events, whereby 
Uh, someone is saying not clear. What is not clear? The screen. Okay. Um, so that's what we're saying. That if you have to get a probability of an event, we are saying it is the number of the events out of the number of the sample space. So we shall be getting, for example, uh, two out of six as the probability of that given event occurring. That's all we looked at last time. So whenever you have a probability, look at that given formula, okay? That the number of events, the probability of an event is the number of events out of the sample space. So more of these notes, we shall, uh, we shall uh, they're uploaded on our, um, on our Google Classroom. So we shall check them and then go through step by step. Okay, now um, let's see, look at, so I said today, we are looking at uh, uh, something else. Uh, let's share this. I hope uh, we'll be able to see this. Okay, I hope this is clear now. Okay, Mama says it's clear. All right. So uh, we are saying that we have special kind of probability events, special kind of events. Special meaning that uh, they are not as usual as they may appear. They are not so usual. So what are these uh, events? When you have what you call a null, look here, we have what you call a null event, is an event which has not occurred. It means we shall have an empty set. So that one becomes a special one. So whenever you see that something hasn't happened, that probability becomes null. Okay, now, so usually the null is always an empty set that we do not expect any outcome. For example, you say, if what is a probability that it will rain or it will shine, meaning, and if it does not rain or does it shine, it means that no event has occurred. So therefore that will become an outcome, which is an event. Then another one is uh, the event that contains everything. When you have an event that is containing everything, for example, you say, what's the probability that it will rain or it will shine? And it rains and shines at the same time. Now, meaning all the things have happened at the same time. So we say that set is an event that is a, is an entire event contains the entire sample space. So we call that, uh, those, are, those are the two types of special events that we do have in our calculations. Okay, now, um, Today, we are looking at set operations on events. In, you recall in our senior one and senior, two, we looked at sets, uh, the union, the intersection, the complement. Now we are carrying that knowledge and then bringing it out in our probabilities. That is what uh, that is part I want us to focus on briefly. It's a, something which is a, it always gives learners quite hard time, but I want us to take a keen look and then we learn something out of this. So when we look at this, we are saying, how do we work with a union? Especially when you're talking about Rabbit, what do we do when we are talking about a union? Please remember everything is about probability. We are still looking at the probability. So what is a union? We are saying, if you have to set set A and set B, okay? And if there are two events that are to occur, if you have these as two events to occur, then the union of A and B is denoted by this. I'm sure this symbol is very common to most of us, to all of us. Uh, right from senior one, senior two. It is A union B. Now, how do we define that event? So we say this means that we need elements. This E stands for elements. Elements that belong to A or, take note of this, or the elements that belong to B. 
those are the ones, those, those are the results that we need. If they tell us to find the union, we are saying, if we have the two events, the union of these two events means that we need elements that belong to set A and O, look at the or, the elements that belong to set B. Uh, uh, Hakim, you have a question? Mr. Pardon, I've not understood there. There, okay. Let me explain again. So, we are saying, we are, remember we are looking at probability. Our topic is still probability. Now, if you want to find, it's a, a question will arise, find the probability of A union B. This is what we are first explaining. So how do we come to A union? I want us to understand that when we talk about A union B, it means that we need the, uh, we're talking about elements that belong to A. Look at this. Uh, in our, we also looked at set when we are shading. Elements that belong to A, this is A. When you look at this, this is set A. Okay. This is our set A. That is one. So we need elements here. And also we need elements that belong also to set B or elements that belong to set B. So all the ones that belong to B, the B is here. So we will highlight, we also need this one here also. Okay. So how do we get those results? If it's a probability, that's our, that's our challenge that we have. But what we should know that when you talk about the union is elements that belong to A or the elements that belong to B. Now, if you are to calculate this, okay? So what does that mean when you talk about A? It means that the event that A occurs, the event A union B occurs, if A occurs or B occurs. Please take note of this, or, okay? Take note of all. And we are saying, whatever you see, or it is equivalent to the union. Okay. The union goes with all. Okay. So this is what we have. So when you are supposed to shade, when you are shading, sometimes we can be told by, by you first shade out a given part and then we can uh, look at uh, yes, session account. You didn't label your name. You're asking session account. Unmute. Uh huh. You're asking something. Uh, pardon? I need clarification. You're not getting well. Okay. Uh, yes, charity. Charity. Um, sir, I'm also not getting well. Like okay. from that part where. From. From which part? From that part of the event, you event A union B occurs if A occurs or the event B occurs. Okay, now and good. B occurs. All That's right. Not... All right. Now, I, I'm, what I'm explaining to you, what I'm explaining to you right now, is what do we mean by A union? B, that's the expansion I'm putting across. Right? I'm saying, what do we mean? Okay, so we are saying, what do we mean by A? That's what I am explaining. What is the meaning of A? Union B. That's what, that's what, we are, what, what I'm explaining. Before we bring in the probability part of it, what does it mean when we say A union B? When we say A union B, 
it means we are getting elements of A or the elements of B. That's the meaning of A union B. So meaning when you are shading the parts, this is A, okay? This is A and also this is B. B also takes on that given part also. So that is what, that's, that's where you see the shaded part here. Okay? A union B. It means that we need elements of A or the elements of B. That's what we need. That's the interpretation I want us to have first. Okay, Hakim? Including the intersection. Yes, including the intersection, true. Good, aha. Uh -huh. uh, yes, uh, Bill? Yes, actually, what do you mean by union? By combining the two elements from, the two events from A and B, and Very good. calculating them together or what? Yes, we are now getting the formula. Yes, we are now okay. getting the formula. We are going, we are going to get the formula next. Go. Uh-huh, uh session? Yes, session account? Okay, your hand is still, your hand is still down. All right. So uh, we are saying, So, um, so we are saying that uh, when we look at the elements of A, union B, we are picking out both of them, okay? So we are even taking up the intersection. Remember, the intersection is for both A and for both B, okay? So meaning A will take on and also B will also take on. So at the end of it all, that is how we shall uh, get our, uh, our union. Now, when we proceed, so how do we come up with the probability now? Here we are. When we talk about the probability now, we are now here. Uh, now we need to pay more closer attention here. All right. When we talk about now the probability, A union B, we've known that we are taking on this side and also this side combined together. Now, when we are saying that when probability of A is added to probability of B, the outcome, now let's look at this. This is what I want us to focus. For us to get the probability of A union B, we are now here. For us to get the A union B, we are adding probability of A, remember this is A, this is the A part, eh? probability of A, plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. Now, why are we removing the intersection? When you talk about probability of A, you need events that are here plus the events that are also here. When we want probability of B, we need the ones that are here and also the ones that are here. That's what it means. So if you want the union, why are we subtracting? We are saying, when you talk about A, sorry, B, look at this B part here. When you have your B, it takes on the intersection. When you also talk about A, when you talk about A also, it also takes the intersection. Therefore, to avoid repetition, that is why we remove one intersection. We remove one intersection to avoid the repetition. That's why you are seeing that probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B will give us the union. Why are we subtracting? Because the union is twice for A and also for B. So we remove one union and then we shall remain with, uh, with the one. Uh, Sabir? Yes, Sabir? Yes, I'm getting clear. All right, thank you. Uh, session session account, please. I, I, may I get your name? I'm Olivia. Olivia, okay. Yes, please. 
Uh-huh. Uh, Harriet? Harriet? Yes, I have a question. Yes. What if when the numbers are outside the, the intersection, do uh -huh. no. they also add in the probability? Good. Now, when we talk about the intersection, sorry, the one which is outside, whatever is outside is a complement, and that's what we're also going to look at. This one, you don't include it, but you don't include it in this in the union. It is not, when it is outside this box here, it is not part of A, nor is it part of B. So we do not include it inside here. When we are getting our union, it is not included. Okay, um, we need to understand this because where we are going to, we need to, we are going to pay close attention. Yes, Charity. I'm uh -huh. sorry. Yes. I'm sorry to disturb, but I wanted mm -hmm. you to repeat that that part. Okay, let me repeat it. I hope others um... of the diagram because I didn't. All right. Uh huh. Olivia. Okay. Olivia, something. All right. Now, let me repeat this once again because we need to understand it very clearly. Um, let me remove this a little. Okay. Now, members, we are saying. That if you would like, if you want to, that if you want to get the probability of the union, okay? if you want to get the probability of A, union B, we are saying we are getting our probability of A. Probability of A takes on is this part here, the entire part, the whole of this. Yeah? We add to probability of B, probability of B is this one here. Hmm? is also this part. You see that all of them are taking on an intersection. Right? All of them are picking a given part of intersection while the other one is also taking the intersection. So that's why we are saying we subtract the intersection. We subtract this intersection because this one has already taken on. This one has also taken on the intersection part. There are four, there is a repetition. Look at this statement. When A is added to B, the outcome in the intersection is counted twice. And that is why we remove one of the intersection to remain with, with, with just one. But if you don't remove the intersection, it means if you add the intersection, it means you're going to uh, add it twice. You add it again. So meaning you'll get a, an answer which is uh, quite different. So this is what we do have when we talk about the intersection. Uh, Hakim? Yes, Hakim. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. But when you're, when you're shading regions, uh -huh. a, union, a union B takes even part of this box. Part of which one? Part of the box and you just leave out the intersection and then you shade the other parts. You leave out the intersection? Only. No, we don't leave out the, for the probability, for the probability, we do not leave out the intersection. Because remember, look at this. If you have uh, events, if you have items here, if you have, uh, for example, uh, probability, so if you have elements in A as maybe one, two, and then three, then for elements of B, you have maybe two, four, and then six. Uh -huh. Now, when they tell you to give A, union, B, what events will be there? I want a, was it Hakim? Hakim, can you give us the answer there? Hakim? Yes, dear. Can you give us the answer here? If you to, if you have elements of A as one, two, three, elements of B two, three, two, four, six, give us A union B. A union B. Uh-huh. Is one what 
One, two, two, mm -hmm. three, three, four, four, and six, and six. Is there an element of the intersection in our union? Yes. Good. So you see that this one is there and it is counted once. That is why it is also part of the shaded part because the two takes on both sides. So it is put there once. We don't put two, two. I hope that is clear now. Yes. Good. So that's why we do that shading. Okay. Um, uh, Okwalinga has a question. Okwalinga? Okwalinga? Okwalinga is not there. All right. In no rush. In no rush. Is it in a rush? Yeah. Uh -huh. Morning, sir. Morning to you. Now, so what if we say we and we don't put that minus probability into a search intersection B and we leave it out and we just say probability of A plus probability of B. Go and we first list our elements that we have and then we cancel out the intersections and we get to probability A because even that will give us the union. Good. Now, by the, but, but you said it right. You said afterwards you cancel out the what? The intersection. Okay? Yeah. Still, yeah. Canc canceling out is subtracting. Are you together? Canceling yeah. out is subtracting. So still, you are going to subtract. For you have called it canceling out. Okay? Still, you will have to remove it. Okay? okay? But if it is zero, no, good. If it is zero, that means it will. Thank you. Um, uh, please, I want us to uh, Ronald, 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 your hand is not up. Uh, Ronald, put your hand up, then I pick you up. Okay. Any other person with the uh, query here so that we move together? Olivia, you still you have a question? Olivia? Okay. Now, so members, this is how we are with our with our probability as far as the union is concerned. Okay. Now, uh, I said these notes we shall get them, but if you can take note of them, it's it's well and good. You can uh, uh, let us you can take note of them. All right. Now, let's continue. We are continuing here. So what happened? Let's come to the intersection now. What, what do we mean by the intersection? By now we know that. By now we know when we talk about the intersection, we are talking about elements that are, that are from A and they are also from B. Please, um, I want us to mark this C and. And works for intersection or works for the union okay so we are saying a elements that belong to a and also the ones that belong to b this one is what we do have as far as that intersection is concerned okay we will not swear about the two intersection so much because at least we both know but i want to know i want you to take note that when you talk about the intersection, we use the and, okay? Take note of that. Very, 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 very strong point. When you talk about the intersection, we are talking about the and. All right. Um, Okwalinga, Emmanuel? Okwalinga, have a question? Okay, no. So, now, We have looked at this. Now, what happens to the intersection now? Mm -hmm. What happens to the intersection? I think it's now quite easily explained now. So for the intersection, 
we are getting the A plus the B minus the union. The union, this union here, remember it is the one that takes on the rest of the item. So we, to avoid the repetitions, what we do, we pick on, we remove that, uh, we remove the union, and then we shall remain with our intersection, per bit of the intersection. That happens when they are together. So for A, for joint probabilities, A intersection B, probability of A intersection B is a probability of A plus the probability of B minus the union. The union, remember, they're the ones that will take on everything. Okay. Um, now, there's something that we have here. We have events that we call independent events, meaning they are events that are occurring on their own. Olivia, uh, Olivia, 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 you have a query? Yes, Olivia? Please, when I unmute you, you tap on unmute and then you ask. Okay, Ntale, Ntale has something? Master. Yes, please. What I try to mean for the previous note that you have put aside that when you are to find union, mm. you subtract the intersection. Yes. And when you are to find intersection, you subtract the union. Yes. Okay. Now I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Emma, 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 Emma. Uh, teacher. Good afternoon. Yes. Good afternoon. Teacher, I wanted uh you to give an example for the the other example uh the work you have shown. Okay. We want an example. Our example is coming in. Eh? Okay. All right. All right, so let me look at, let's finally look at this, then we are going to look at an example. Yeah, we're going to look at an example, of how we can work it out, thank you. Now, we have events that we call independent events. When an event is independent, and we are going to say that the occurrence of another does not affect this other one. It means that the intersection will be the probability of A, Times, this is times, eh? or rather star, times the probability of the B. Okay, that will be, that one is, if the event is independent, please take note of this. The other one is not independent, the previous one that we looked at. Then, or, okay, we are, please, we pick in, we are going to look at an example then the example will possibly bring us something very more clear. So we say the probability of A intersection B for independent events, events occurring on their own. We shall multiply the one for A times the one of B. Uh, look at how we come to this. Now, what about if you are to get probability of A? Look at this. Uh, we, we are saying probability of A intersection B, okay? intersection B is equal to the probability of A, the probability of A times the probability of B. Now, from this formula, you know you can get also probability of A, you can also get probability of B. By when you divide here, by probability of A, huh? divide by probability of A, then this one also divide by probability of A, okay? Probability of A, you will come out with this one, you cross out, so you remain with probability of B. So meaning probability of B, if it is independent, probability of B will be equivalent to probability of A intersection, a intersection B, okay, out of the probability of A, on condition that it is independent, okay? Look at this. Now, when do we use the other formula and this one, depending on the type of event, and that's what we are going to 
the judge. How do we tell that this is an independent event or it is not independent? But for an independent event, this is what we have. So if you also want to find probability of B, so sorry, probability of A. So probability of A, probability of A will be equal to probability of A intersection B, okay? A intersection B out of probability of B, okay? Out of the probability of B. So this one has been generated right from here. We've generated this from here, okay? We generate it from that given point. Okay, um, Hakim? Okay, Hakim? So pardon. Okay, pardon, good. Okay, so independent events are basically the events that are happening on their own. Like the occurrence of another does not affect the occurrence of this other one. If you are telling us that you want it to, if it is going to rain all today, if it rains, it is not because of the sunshine. It is just on its own. It has done that on, the, on its own. We are calling those ones independent events. Now, there are different events that we are also going to keep on looking at, but I want us to look at the independent one. Okay? So we are saying probability of the intersection okay, of A intersection B is the probability of A multiplied by the probability of A. Okay? I, I don't know. The, the point is the getting the in, knowing that it's independent or it's not independent. We are going to say that the, the examples, okay? So if you want to find out the probability of A, okay? If you want to find out the probability of A and you have the intersection it means you're just going to divide and then you'll get the, the given answer, okay? So that is like, for example, if you are to, if you have, uh, you're tossing a coin, okay? When you toss the coin, you're either going to get the head or the tail. There are no cases you're going to get both. So that one becomes an independent, okay? If you, are to, if you have cards, if you have playing cards, the box is having play, playing cards, and you're supposed to pick out maybe a die. There's no way you're going to have the intersection there. So in the cases where events that do not have intersection, we multiply so that we can be able to get the intersection, okay? So for, I said, for example, when you toss a coin, you have to only get one. You can't get both the head and the tail at the same time you definitely pick out one of them. So we call that one an independent event. So in such a case, the probability of getting the intersection is this other one times, it is the head times the tail. That is the intersection, okay? Okay. Let, let's look at a worked example here. Um, Vicent, 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 Vicent has a hand. Okay, Vincent is off. Yes, Harriet. Harriet? I have a question that how do you find this? Like, how do you find this one is independent? Uh huh. Okay, how do we tell that an, a given event is independent or it is not independent? Now, for meaning that we have only one chance, you do not have both, okay? Where you see that both cannot happen, that means we say that one, it will be in the, let's look at a worked example here. Um, for example, let's look at an example here. I, I let's pay uh, keen attention here. Maybe most people want an example, then they can possibly get it clear. Huh? All right, now, We are saying, for example, we have a mobile manufacturer has two types of 
mobiles, eh? two types of phones, okay? We have the red color, okay? And also we have the black color. Now, in the process of manufacturing, the red color mobile phones, 91% are non-defective. Non-defective meaning they are okay. Eh? Non-defective meaning they are very fine. Then in the manufacturing process, the black colors, eh? look at the black color, the four of the black color phones, 95% of them are non-defective, meaning 95% are okay. Mm -hmm. Culture the probability that the assembled type is non defective. So, what is the probability that what you will assemble or what is going to be assembled is okay? Okay. What's the probability that what is going to be assembled is okay? That's what we want to look at. So, meaning we have red, we have the red. So, they're saying, Let's take X for the red phones that are non-defective, okay? X is for red phones that are non-defective. Then Y will be for black that are non-defective, okay? Y is for black and then we set X for the red. Now, members, when you are working out, please make sure you set some letter or number in or you note know, for that a certain event so that you can easily explain it out. So if you have that, so meaning the probability of a non-defective red mobile phone, we said it is 90%, 90% 90 is 90 out of 100. Look at our question here. We're saying 90, 91% in a, in, in, a, in a process of manufacturing of the red color mobile phones, eh? 91% are non defective. 99 out of 100, we talk, sorry, 91 out of, a, of, out of 100. So, meaning that is 91%. Okay? That is 91%. Aha. Uh -huh. We are here. We are looking at a work example. Okay? We are looking at a work example. Then, also for the black ones, we have 95%. So, meaning 95% out of 100, for them, they are what? They are non defective. Aha, uh -huh. this is what we have. So we are saying for the probability of the non defective for red phones is 95%. So that is 95 out of 100. While for the probability of X, X is for the red. So meaning this one is that. So when you divide this, you should be have coming up with something. Can you? Uh, can someone divide for us 91 out of 100? Inbox for us the answer. Inbox for us the answer. 91 out of 100. Uh huh. 91 out of 100. Or we'll divide by 100. Who is having a culture there? Mm -hmm. 0.91. Angela, Benita, Trevor, zero, zero point nine one. All right, then 95 out of 100. What do we have? Aha, uh -huh. 91, 95, Bena, 90, 0 0.95, 0 0.95, 0 0.95. So we have zero. Point nine five. So that's what we have. Good. Now, to move on. So, when we meaning, why are we saying that this one is independent? Because there is no way we can have both the red. Okay. Actually, this is a, sorry. This is a black. Eh? You you can adjust. This is black. Not red, eh? this is black. She has it, he was missing quoted. Eh? This is the, the black color. So, meaning that if we here we do not have the intersection, we don't have the intersection here. That's why we are saying, that's why we are saying they are 
independent because we do not have the intersection. There is no way they are manufacturing both red and then black and non defective. So we call that one an, uh, an independent one. So meaning we need to find out the probability that the assembled type is okay, that all of them are okay. So this is what we are going to have. So to find that, we are saying that all of them, all of them are okay, meaning the red, both the red and the black are okay. That's what we mean. For you to get both red and black are okay, meaning it is X, the intersection of Y. X intersection Y. So meaning we'll have to multiply the probability of X times the probability of the Y. Yeah. So at the end of it all, when you, when you try to multiply, that is the 0 0.91 uh, times the 0 0.95. Okay, and that's how we will come to our answer as that. So the point here is when you are calculating uh, your probability, okay? when you're calculating your probability, please take note of what events are happening. Okay? What events are happening, whether it is now, remember, I told you our probabilities should never go beyond one. If you calculate and your answer is one point something, one point what? No, it is wrong. Aha, uh -huh. teacher, pardon. Good. Let me pardon here. Um, let me answer some question. Okwalinga Emma is not speaking, but the hand is up. Session account. Session account. Uh huh. Emma Kualinga. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon, Tisha. All right. All right. So I'm pardoning here now. We are pardoning here. We are pardoning here. Okay, so we are saying, let, let's, let's get back to our question here. Let's get back to our question. Now, we are saying, hmm? maybe we understand, we need to understand the question first. Can we, let's look at the second question. Maybe the second one will give us a, uh, okay, let's look at it. So we are saying that when you have, how do you tell that the event is independent? We talk about the event being independent when we do not have the intersection. And for us to get the intersection, here we are saying the company is having red color mobile phones, and it is also having we have the red and then the black. Those are, those are the two types of phones that we are having. Now, in the red, okay, in the red, we have 91 out of 100, okay. Then in the black, we have 95 out of, 95 out of 100 that are okay. So what are the chances that when the, when the manufacturer brings out all of them, are okay, oh, and all of them are okay. What are the chances that when the, when the manufacturer brings out, will get red okay and also black okay? That's what we mean. You'll get black okay. Whatever you pick on red, it should be okay. Whenever you pick on black, it must be okay. So meaning that is the intersection. So we are saying for the intersection probability of the red, Intersection, the black 
events. There is no red black computer or red black phone. No, it is either red or it is black. So in such a case, we are saying we are taking one the probability of the red, okay, times the probability. of the black and we have the probability of the black so you multiply that's how we are coming up there are some many more other worked examples that we need to work on um let me take on some questions uh kagezi 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 alex kagezi alex Kajes is not here, Olivia. Olivia? Is Olivia there? Olivia is not there. Joyce? Okay, Joyce is not there. Emma? Is Emma there? Okay. Um, okay. So um, we couldn't. I couldn't get to you. Uh, okay. Olivia, are you still there? Olivia. Okay. Some people are not seeing. Eh? Are not. Are not speaking. Okay. Please send. Send your message in. Send your. Okay, okay, okay. Uh huh. Let's go on. I just pardon. Okay, pardon. Okay, someone is trying. Maybe okay. keep trying. So, okay. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Excuse me, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get one by one. One by one. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, sir. Yes. I wanted to ask you, uh, how do we the pos the probability of the phones assembled being defective? Aha. Uh -huh. Now, good. Let's look. Let's look here. Mm -hmm. Very good. So we are saying the probability of them being non-defective is this. Okay. Now, for them being defective, meaning they balance okay for those being defective for defective okay. hey good so for those who are being defective we shall subtract remember our our for defective eh, will be equivalent to the, the entire probability, remember the maximum probability is one. And we shall subtract from the non defective, meaning we shall get this one minus the probability of non defective, which will be the 0 0.8645. And then you'll come up with the answer about 0 0.2 something. So that will be for the defective part of it. Okay. So, that, so that's how we shall do. Uh, Elizabeth said it's 0 0.13. Okay. That is 0 0.13. All right. Um, uh huh. Kajesi? All right, so members, this is how you would get uh, 0 0.1355. Eh? So you subtract the one minus the probability for the defective. That's how you come up with the one for the nine, for the, for the defective okay. ones. Okay. So, um, so class, uh, hey, please. Okay, 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 okay. Some people are uh, unmute. Please, you mute your microphone. Please mute your microphones. 
Please mute your microphones. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. So members, uh, I want us to do more practice on this. I'm going to send more work examples. Please mute your microphones. All right. Are we there now? So uh, finally, we are saying that the, when you are calculating your probability, when you're calculating your probability, especially for independent events, I'm going to send more worked examples because of time. I'm going to send you more worked examples in our Google, Google Drive, sorry, Google Classroom, so that uh, we can try to get more of those worked examples. We are going to see the work, the, how do we tell that this is independent and then, the, but the bottom line is, please take note of this formula here the ones that we have given you, okay? That when you are looking at a probability of uh, an intersection for independent ones, we just multiply the two and then we shall come up with our result. That is uh, how we are coming up with that. So we are going to have more other forward examples on that. Uh, someone was asking what questions from the question bank. Uh, we are going to send that one too, okay? about the question bank so that you work them out. Thank you. I'm going to do send the worked examples also just on independent events, how we can solve the independent. But please, bottom formula that we are manipulating is this one. That's what I want us to have for this class. That probability of the intersection is A times the probability of the B. That's how we shall uh, join. That's how we shall be able to get the probability for the independent results. Where will we get the examples? So we shall get them from the Google Classroom. And I'm sure most of us have joined the Google Classroom by now. Uh, do we have some people who have not joined the Classroom yet, Google Classroom yet? Do we have people who are not yet in the Google Classroom? Okay. Um, maybe I would request briefly uh, Mr. Bernard, could you? There are certain people who are not yet who have not yet got to the drive. Maybe could you send them the passcode so that they can be part of it? There, there are some people. Charlotte, Donald, uh, Hope also hasn't joined. Mr. Bernard, are you there? Yes, uh, talk to me. Um, someone says there are people who had not yet joined our drive, the, the classroom. Could you yes. send maybe the code here? Maybe they could get it. Okay, uh, let me put it so that they can join. So, remember, so members, check in, check in the chats. There is a code which is going to be sent there. And Meanwhile, then, we now, need to end class. Yes, yes, the class has ended. Okay, so class, we are going to get those the, the, the detailed uh, events and then the worked examples in our, our classroom and we shall uh, keep on uh, working with the, that. Otherwise, uh, for today, uh, basically I wanted, to, I wanted us to introduce ourselves to working with sets and probability. Okay, I hope we have seen Okay, so check that there is a the link which has been sent. Choose your class. Okay. Choose your class and then you'll be good to go. Please copy them very fast before uh, we end the lesson. And there is also a link there. All right. So members, I hope we have seen that. Um, yes, Emma, 